hello lovelies welcome back to my channel welcome if this is the first time of stopping by hi nice meeting you for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel so today's video will be making the gown you saw and for my fabric is folded into four equal parts we are not going to be having any zipper allowance and i use my pin to hold my um, fabric in place because this fabric is is so silky and is a crepe fabric plain crepe and it's so silky so the first thing i'm going to be doing is to mark a straight line to serve as our shoulder line or starting point and this i'm using two yards of fabric i fold this fabric is 60 inches long long so i folded my my measurement um at that 60 inches side i hope you understand this so the first thing i'm going to go down is to mark my armhole line which is my chest line and from there i am marking my under bust i am going to tell you guys the reason for marking my under bust as we go on with the video and the next point i marked is my waistline and from there i'm going to go ahead and mark the length of my gown which is at 38 inches and then i added two inches allowance for hemming I'm just going ahead to connect all the lines to mark them straight so that you guys can see what we are doing. So I went ahead to remark my lines because I felt that the ones I marked before wasn't straight. So that's why it looks like I have double lines there. So this is our balls, our under balls, our waist. And at this point, yes, I forgot to mark my hip point. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it. Still placing my tape at my shoulder line. I am going down by 25 inches for my um, hip hip line then the next thing i did is to mark my neckline for this style and for my neckline the width of my neckline i might at three inches i'm going to make a point there and then mark for the length of it i marked at five inches and also make a point there then I'm going to go ahead and connect it with my French curve because I want it to have a round neck. So we are connecting with our French curve for a round neck. And then this first um, neckline we marked is for our front neckline. Then we are marking our back neckline which is 1.5 inches. And then I'm going to connect it to the 3 inches that we marked earlier. So the longer neck, the longer length is for the front, while this shorter one is for the back. So I'm going to go ahead and mark half of my shoulder measurement. And my shoulder measurement is 15. 15 divided by 4 by 2, sorry, is 7.5. I'm going to mark the that, that 7.5. I'm going to connect it to meet my um chest line. Then I'm going to go down at down my armhole line by one inch for my shoulder slope and I'm going to go ahead and connect it to my shoulder line. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to take my measurements. Um for my bust measurement, my bust measure my bust is 42 inches. I am dividing by four inches, which is the normal thing to do. I'll make a point there. Then I'm going to be adding one inch for ease. Remember, this is not a fitted gown. So I added one inch for ease, and then I added one inch for stitching allowance. You can do more than um one inch for for ease if you were. Uh, um, on the bigger side when i mean on the bigger side if you have more tummy um, and you want it to be more closed or more covered you can do more than one inch but i think one inch is okay for me 
and then for my under boss i'm doing the same thing my under boss divided by four plus one inch allowance for ease and then one inch allowance for joining if um okay the reason for adding this under boss is because i still have mommy pouch that um my tummy is still big after having my baby so i'm trying to create that you know shape um our shape of my gown so because since i do not have um, a waistline to do it i decided to use my underboss so that it gives me more fitting i don't know how else to explain this but if you have a flatter tummy just forget the, about the underboss it doesn't matter and work with your waist with your waist so i inserted, inserted my waist and my hip measurement as well and just like we did for the boss i added one inch allowance for ease and then one inch allowance for station and then for my hip i'm going to go down straight to my hem and that's basically all for now for this body if you haven't subscribed up to this moment please hit on the subscribe button and yes i forgot to add half inch for my station allowance for my sleeve because it's going to have a sleeve so i added the half inch i connected the line and then extended my shoulder line i'm sorry for the omission so like i was saying please hit on the subscribe button please join the growing family do not live today without subscribing and then to my old subscribers you guys know i really appreciate you and i love you all <laughs> thank you for all your support thank you thank you thank you don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video share my videos to family and friends as well leave a comment below <laughs> So the next thing I did is to separate the front and the back bodies and we are going to go ahead and cut the front neckline. So we cut the back neckline first and then cut the um, front neckline. And once I am done, we are going to go ahead and over to our sleeve because we want to cut out all necessary cutting out before going into stitching. You don't want to stitch and remember that you won't have to cut one and you go back to start cutting again. Or maybe I'm the one. I like cutting everything before um, stitching. Unless some exception exceptions that I need to to get the measurement after stitching. So my fabric is folded into four. I am cutting the two sleeves together. I just pinned it down because of the nature of the fabric. And I measured to make sure I have my round sleeve plus my allowance. Then the first thing I'm going to do is to um mark out the, as you can see the fabric is not straight so i'm going to go ahead and mark make a straight line there so that we'll, we can so, so that we can work with it and once i am done from that line we marked i'm going down by five inches sorry i am taking my sleeve length and then I added two inches allowance for stitching or for hemming. And I'm going to go ahead and make a straight line there. If there's any any mess up that you don't understand, please leave a comment below. Um, it's late already, and I'm trying to finish this video as um as soon as I can. Then from that line starting point, I'm going down by um five inches for my sleeve cap. And then from the edge of the fabric, I'm going in by four inches. Just look at the video, you understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those points that, I, um, that we just made straight. Just like you see me do in the video, please go ahead and do the same. I have a detailed tutorial on sleeve, adult and children's sleeve. I'll put it in this description box please check it out it's really detailed and informative so once i am done with this the next thing i'm going to do is to measure this place i am and then i'm going to divide it into two just like you see me do once i divide it i'll make a point there and then we'll proceed to other ones we are going to use this point afterwards then i'm going to take my upper round sleeve then um plus my allowance for this allowance i added two inches allowance and then i'll do the same thing for the down um lower um 
lower arm and i also added, added my allowance so once we are done i'm going to connect um i just added half inch for um each so i'm going to connect these three points that i just showed you guys and for the first thing i'm going to first one i'm going to connect is the um from the beginning of my fabric to the center point that's where what i am going to connect first and once i am done you will see the way i flipped my ruler on my french curl sorry that's how you're going to flip it and then connect the other one and then i'm going to go ahead and connect the other side if you've been cutting your sleeve any other way and it hasn't been working for you please try this or try the tutorial that i talked about earlier you 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 can you can never go wrong with it so if there's any sharp edge at that center all you have to do is to use your chalk and or your marker and blend it out and that's basically all for this sleeve i'm going to go ahead and cut this out and then we'll continue with our tutorial so once we are done i'm going to go ahead and cut out our facing and for this my fabric is folded into two that's the one on the table i folded it into two if you don't want to use a facing please go ahead and use your bias to turn the neckline but for me i think i prefer um, a facing so my fabric is folded into four and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm cutting the back bodies the back neckline first so i arranged the um the back neckline on the fabric i kept on the table i'm going to go ahead and trace the neckline on that fabric and also trace the shoulder line once i am done i removed it and then we are going to go ahead and start taking our measurements and for this measurement i took um at four inches which is, which i later reduced to three inches but just mark what works for you how long you want it or how short you want it is but remember whatever you mark you are going to be using half inch for um joining to the neck and then half inch for surging or for folding whichever you do So once I am done with that, I'm going to repeat the same process for my um for my front bodies. I arrange this well, if possible, pin it down, and then I'm going to go ahead and trace this out. So once I am done cutting out all my facing, I'm going to go. We are going to proceed to attaching the facing to the fabric. And for this, I am doing um front facing front for the facing, and I went ahead to pin it down. Once I am done pinning it down, I'm going to stitch by half inch on the neckline, and I'll also repeat the same process for the for the back um, bodies. So this is it after i was done i'm stitching it down the next thing i did is to notch my arm the to notch this 
neckline sorry and this is it after i was done all you have to do is to stretch this or turn it in by half inch and then apply your hemming gum when it, when um it's time for you to apply it so we are going to go ahead and join our shoulder and for this we are doing invisible shoulder, um, shoulder that by the time we stitch it you our rough edges will be covered for this uh, the first thing i did is to mark the two neckline i'm going to make sure i have the, those the two places where i stitch i'm going to pin it down and then start pinning other side of the shoulder Once I am done stitching it down, I'm going to go ahead and once I'm done pinning it, I'm going to go ahead and stitch it down. And I did the same thing for the other side. So this is it after I was done stitching it down. I'm going to go ahead and cut out a little bit of excess at that shoulder point that we pinned first. So that we can eliminate most of the bulge there. So this is it after I was done. You can, you can go ahead and give it a good press here but because we don't have light if you can if you if you have noticed i've been running from one post to the other just to make this video work so this is how it's going to look after you're done all you have to do is to iron and add your hemming gum if you want to and then for our sleeve the first thing i'm going to do is to hem it by 1.5 inches and i'll do the same thing for the other side so this is it after i was done with the hem and the next thing we are going to do is to attach it to the bodies So I'm going to go ahead and start pinning my sleeve from one end to the other. If you're not sure of how um, the measurement of your sleeve, if it's the same measurement with your armhole, all you have to do is to match the two center, your armhole, your sleeve center, and then your armhole center before you start pinning. You don't want one side to be longer than one side. So once I am done pinning it, I'm going to go ahead and stitch it all around and I'll do the same thing for the other side. So this is it after I was done stitching it down. The next thing we are going to be doing, I have not done anything about the neckline. I will do it once I am done with the video or once the light comes up. So the next thing I'm going to do is to hem the fabric because you need, a, you, need, you need to hem it to be sure of where your pocket is going to sit on. So I hemmed it by 1.5 inches. So this is the fabric I am I will be using for my pocket. And for this, the length of the fabric is about 13 inches, which I reduced and then the width is about 11 inches which i reduced by i think one inch on both sides so the first thing i did is to fold this the end that will be the other upper part and stitch it down then every other the remaining three sides i will just fold it and then iron it down if there is light but for me since there is no light we are going to stitch directly i'm going to go ahead and open my front bodies the front my front body is not the back and the first thing i did is to measure two inches 2.5 inches inward and then i'm going to place the, the my pocket to be at that end and then from the hem hemming side i went up by two inches i'm going to go ahead and pin this down and i will do the same thing for the other side to make sure i have a uniform size All the place, places I am folding in is where you are supposed to stitch. 
you are going to stitch the three sides while you fold it in by half inch or one inch or, the, or how many inches that you added then fold all the three sides in since we've already um folded or hemmed the upper side so this is it after i was done with it or you have to, i'm just removing the pins on the fabrics and the next thing we are going to do is to arrange the front and the back bodies well. So I'm going to go ahead and arrange the fabric well. Arrange my armhole to match each other. Arrange my um, sleeve starting. I'm sorry that it could, that is out of focus. I wasn't aware. I was just arranging the fabrics well. I'm going to go ahead and pin this down. Once I pin it down, I'll go ahead and then stitch it from the armhole all the way to the hem. And I'll do the same thing for the other side. And this is it after I was done. I'll flip it to the right side so that you guys can see. So this is it after I was done. Is we are almost done. The next thing we are going to do is to get a bow for um our neckline and for this bow i've already prepared prep it but i'm going to show you guys what i did the length of this bow is um about 23 inches and then for the width i have about 2.5 inches which i use half inch to stitch and then turn it inside out and then for the edge i also slanted it just for um a little bit of design on it and then i stitch and turn it to the right side just the way normal way that you want to turn with your lining just stitch at the wrong side and then turn it to the right side then to attach this you're going to arrange your neckline well get the center of this and then get the center of the fab of the um fabric for the piece that we made just look at the video you will understand how i i attach this and that's basically all for this tie i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to share my videos to family and friends show me love show me love. <laughs> thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye